Just another day in the Minecraft world. That's right, I'm here to give the nearly three year update. I guess fortunately or unfortunately, not a lot has changed in this world in the meantime, in the last two years I'd say. Because, you know, I haven't really found a lot of time to play a lot of Minecraft, you know? I would say that, you know, playing Minecraft is kind of lonely, you know? It's um, an activity that I'm not really doing as much anymore because I'm less lonely. So, you know, good things and bad things out of that, I would say. And I guess here's the update. Everything is very, very similar to what you've seen from the last time, uh, with some minor additions, really, I would say. And after the newest big update, you know, 118, I'm not exactly, you know, I'd say the most keen on kind of um, how, how things went for that update. It, yes, very fun, very good, uh, caving. Uh, good and and bigger and better and whatnot, but it did kind of fuck me over in some ways I will admit, you know, this build is a great example uh, How everything was kind of done in a way uh, If you want to exclude like this outer portion, but you know this inner portion it was down to You know, I want to say di either diamond level or, or near bedrock level. I want to say let's see here Yeah, so we were we were at like 11 here but as you guys may know, since the new update, we went down another, I don't even know how many blocks. But yeah, this is what the underside is looking like now, and things are obviously going to change. I'm going to have to dig dig back down to bedrock level and kind of do this whole thing all over again, really. And going to have to destroy some stuff along the way. I imagine that this geode is going to have to go and whatnot, but to eventually get down to this level uh, negative 58 if you will and yeah that's kind of my plan for that and to use um, you know new and different blocks for this underside of this build really and deep slate is kind of hard to clear out so the current plan for that is using moss blocks that turns the deep slate into moss which you can quickly mine that shiz. Yeah, here we go. So moss spreads to the deep slate, and then you can easily mine it instantly with a hoe, for example. That's one way people have figured out mining deep slate quickly, among other things, but I'm not really too keen in blowing shit up, just because I don't have a ton of gunpowder, and I use most of it for rockets anyway, and I don't want to risk blowing up any of this, right? So... Just keeping things simple and doing it that way instead. So basically this project that I almost thought was kind of done is back at it again. I'm kind of uh, doing it again, I guess you could say. And that's kind of the update on that project, really. But yeah, like I've said, not really found a lot of time to play Minecraft just because I'm doing other things. And I haven't really done a lot of exploring with the new update, which I really should do. But it is what it is, <laughs> I guess you could say, and exploring is one of my favorite things to do in Minecraft, but obviously that's just kind of time, right? And, you know, I'm doing other things, doing this uh, silly little challenge here and whatnot, so I don't really have a lot of time for Minecraft these days, it's unfortunate, but it is what it is. Now hopping into the nether, where in all likelihood this is where the most change is from last time, I would say. In that last time, I only had my nether highways, for the most part, at least the staircases, going west and south. But since last time, that's all change. Got staircases going every cardinal direction now. So, let's check out this way. East currently goes nowhere, because I don't really have many things east. No points of interest. But north, on the other hand, leads to many things. The OG stronghold now is slightly off the beaten path. And this way, of course, going to the new biomes that were added in another update almost two years ago, which I want to say that I never showed off last time. So I might as well now, right? 
a long ways this way is all the nether, new nether shit where I got netherite and whatnot. And I have a way down, but it is harder to mine. You know, new nether, new biomes, shit's harder to mine. And obviously it's also a long ways away. Yeah, but once you get the particle effects, you can tell you're in the new biomes and whatnot. At some point there should be a material change here. There we are, right around there. And around here should be my sort of drop-off point to where I was farming netherite. So yeah, I basically just have like a straight <laughs> fucking drop down into this place. And then a little totem signifying that this is where I was mining netherite. But at some point, my methods became a little too inefficient. And uh, I cleared out so much space that gas were spawning and whatnot. So, who knows, maybe I'll come back through here, especially once I know the appropriate level and whatnot, to uh, bed mine instead. Because I think this was just... I want to say, hasted pickaxe and maybe the occasional TNT. So yeah, I'd say the nether hub is where I made the most progress overall, in terms of, you know, sort of a like spectacular kind of build sense, really. And just kind of cleaning up this middle portion, re uh, replacing this middle portal, kind of evening out all the storage and making sure it's all like symmetrical and shit and kind of changing this pathway as well to make it a little more covered but otherwise nothing else has really changed much on the outside I may have slabbed it up a bit more just to aid for the rates on this farm but I haven't really been using it as much anymore uh, still a good farm I would say but it uh, needs to be optimized a little bit like like before, really, not much has changed on in this regard. But yeah, landing here is a little easier, and of course I had to kind of restructure some of these walls and whatnot to accommodate the staircases. But other than the nether, truly, the most progress was probably made in my other two main projects that you guys saw before. Honestly, not even that much progress, but at least some. The sugarcane farm, significantly more blocks have been placed, and I do need to get back on that. But also my other project, which you'll recall being called Project V. But this is the sugarcane farm as it stands. Still looking about the same, but lots of sea lanterns have been placed, and I've significantly made progress on the sandstone, but it is slow going. I placed a little sandstone fence here, or wall rather, so that way I still get the beacon. But also one thing I've had to think about using this giant space as it is, really, is the space of my beacons. And I've, as you can see, marked these little spots here to the range of this beacon, and I'm gonna need to change, or at least add on, beacons. So that's something I've had to think about and more than likely I'll have to add more in each of these corners. But otherwise, not too much significant progress, but baby steps for this gi otherwise giant build. Similar to the sugarcane farm, really, not a ton of progress, but some things have been made a little better and a little smoother. Similar to the sugarcane farm, really, I believe I marked out a good 50 blocks or so from this middle portion, so I know how good a beacon will be once I put them down. And yeah, I've cleared out significantly more water and whatnot, but this is a huge kind of globe fucking spanning project, if you will, so at least with my plans for it. But for now, this will be a good, uh, good start and a really good launching off point for whatever my future explorations may be. But yeah, unfortunately or fortunately, depending on your point of view, not much to update on, you know, in the last almost two years, really, since this uh, Minecraft world was shown off to everyone. So yeah, that's it. Hope you enjoyed the quick update. Bye.